Bad. Oh yes, let's check Siri's room as well. Just go kill some dragons! Um, <laughs> um, no, actually, The Witcher is famed for not actually killing dragons. I can't quite remember the lore, but witches don't really kill dragons. I think, I don't know, either they respect them as some kind of like mythical entity, you know, this beautiful kind of entity thing, or maybe they just can't. I, I, I don't know. I can't remember the lore about it, but for some reason, witches don't like killing dragons. Uh, double hug. She's working this morning. Oh, sad face. Did she not take the day off as well to watch my stream? How dare she? How dare she not watch my stream? Uh, we found out after making plans at 3.30 in the morning. Oh, really? Oh. Right, okay. How could she not know she was working in the morning? And wait, she stayed up until 3.30 and she found out she was working? Like, when do you start work normally in the morning? Because... Jesus Christ, that's not many hours sleep. I'm just saying that, Yang doesn't sleep very often, does she? So, uh, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I mean, look at this! Look at this! This is... This is pure joy right now. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat, sailing down the river. I've got lovely trees. It's like a flipping painting, ladies and gentlemen. It's like a lovely painting, and I adore it. Just sailing away? How far do we need to go, though? Let's check the map. How far do we actually need to go? Please don't be very far. Um, oh, there's a quest right there. What is this place? Okay, there was a quest right there. Okay, there's a quest there as well, I think? No, undiscovered location. Right, okay. We don't need to go that far. Thankfully, we don't need to go that far to get to Kirametsu's place. And I don't think there's anywhere else that's kind of nearer and kind of helpful. All right, okay. Let's just keep sailing. Let's just keep sailing away. No dragons in Witcher uh, is sad. Still Skyrim is good for dragons. Oh, yes. I mean, if you ever want a surplus of dragons, then Skyrim has got you covered. But you're quite right, Kitty. It's more about Neckers. It's more about Neckers. It's more about Drowners here in the Witcher. And Golems and all kinds of horrible nasties. Uh, double hug. Actually, like, 4.30. Work starts at 10 o'clock. No, she doesn't sleep. Ha. <laughs> and she thought she was closing instead of opening. Brilliant. Very good. I always thought that Yang was someone that had life sorted, you know, very together kind of young lady, but um, it, it seems that sometimes she goes to bed very late and has work very, you know, very early in the morning. It's a shame. It's a shame. Although saying that, I sleep very little as well. I, I don't sleep very much, and um, I seem to make it work, so that's fine. If an old crone like me can make work, then I'm sure she can as well. I see drowners. I see drowners, ahoy. All right. Yes, the boat took some damage. Whatever. Whatever. All right. Come to me. Come to me, horrible, horrible drowners. Uh, Quen. All right. Challenge me. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me at Pax. Here we go. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, oh God! Oh God! Okay. 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 Leave me alone. Leave me alone, guys. Oh, oh, I'm really bad at fighting in this game. Oh my god. Who would have thought, eh? Who would have... Oh god. Okay, okay. Heal. Oh god, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, tactical retreat? Don't mind if I do. Uh, in fact, no, let's just pull one away. Let's just pull one away. Get Quen on. There you go. There you go. There you go. Ta small tactical retreat. Get Quen on again. If we can. No, no shields yet. Oh god, okay, okay, boom, done, done, done. Alright, one more, one more. Yo, buddy, not done with you yet. Where are you going? Don't you ignore me. Wow, he's like so unthreatened by me, he just turned his back. He was like, nah, I got no time for this scrub. No time at all. Alright, okay, let's get out of here. Oh. We'll just soak this image in for a second. <laughs> I thought there was a dragon in The Witcher... That, there was in Witcher 2. Uh, I'll tell you that for nothing. Um, there's griffins in Witcher 3. I've already killed one. And if there's a monster with a similar name to Russian, then kill that too. Oh my god. 
God, you really don't like the Russians, do you? <laughs> the notes boys in town show up all locations on the map. Right, okay, good to know. I'm still learning about this game, ladies and gentlemen. I really am still learning. I mean, I've done like, I've done quite a few streams now, but um, as far as like knowing everything about this game, I'm a long way from that. Who's whispering me? Uh, Double Hug is whispering me. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Double Hug. Uh, double Hug, let's talk after the stream if you can. Uh, we'll, t we'll talk after the stream and we'll discuss some things, if you want, that is. If you want to talk about it, then I'll, I'll be here for you, mate. I'll be here for you. Please, Geralt, get on the horse. It's not hard, okay? I mean, it probably is. I've never got on a horse in my life. It's probably the hardest thing in the world. But seriously, in a world where all I want to do is press the A button to get on a horse, you know, the least you could do is actually just get on the horse. All right, okay. Uh, Kira Metz, where are you, my dear? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, time for some sexy times with Kira Metz, maybe. <laughs> Uh, we'll see. We'll see. All I want is for him to kill some Neckers. Have I seen a Necker in this game yet? I don't. E I don't remember. Rats, why did he need them? Kira? Lady rodents. Better to have stuffed them with a poison. Who are you talking to? to shovel, but no. Did you see what he did with them? Uh, okay. Has she noticed I'm here? Who are you talking to, Kira? Kira, my lovely. Who are you talking to? Oh. A mystical man. Fantastic. Oh, yes, yeah, he's talking to the dead. We read the note and it allowed us to talk to the dead. Kira. Well, the, the, the lamp Kira. allowed us to talk to the dead. <laughs> you gave me quite a start. But nay, the mage, says, bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now, tell me. To what do I owe the pleasure? Didn't get a word of that, because apparently Kit is spamming my whisper box with a million whispers. Uh, nothing important, I'll explain later. Now tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? Uh, you told me that you had some kind of request, and I, I, I really want to help you because you're lovely, and I feel that maybe we can get some sexy time with you in the future if we do enough nice things. By the way, in the background, that looks like a lovely Afghan rug. Very nice indeed. All right, let's talk to you. Mentioned you wanted something from me. I did, and still do. The cursed isle on Lake Windama. You've heard of it, I'm sure. No. Nope. Local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. Oh they God, you want me to kill some wraiths, don't you? How did it come to be cursed? That's what <sighs> I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. Right. I know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Psarath, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. I know it so the well. Are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. Oh. I mean, my chats are now demanding boobs. It's boobs or riot in chat. So if I don't do this, then I'll be disappointing them. And that is the last thing that I want. So of course I will help you. But why do you want it lifted anyway? Is there some kind of personal gain for you, my dear? Because it seems to me that you are, you're, you're on the take. You are on the take. You're always doing something for something. You're, you're not just helping someone. You're helping something, uh, helping someone so you can get something. So, what do you get from this, if anything? Why are you so intent on this? I'm not. The local peasantry is. The Isle Miss, you've got to lift the charm. You're a good oh, witch. Oh, is it actually witch. a selfless act, though? Uh -huh. See, I thought you didn't care for the locals. The great witch you are. <laughs> I failed to lift the curse, and they could conclude I'm not so great. Not enough to conceal me from the witch hunters and risk getting sent to the gallows themselves. What others think. Your image. That's all you care about. The point is, listen. I didn't flee to these wilds just to stupidly get caught because some boar with grit under his fingernails grows annoyed with me. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. I'll help. I will help. 
I will help indeed. All right. I'm a oh. nice guy. I Just ask Double Hook. Nicest guy you'll ever meet me. Kind of. Maybe. Pile. No idea. All right. What then? We're sailing to Fike the Island. Who wander the Isle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't a rapport? How, but they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. You want me to befriend be spirits? Chat. Of course. Provided you take my magic lamp with you, I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. Oh, thank You'll you. Find it quite useful, I'm sure. Yeah, I love talking to the dead. Oh, okay. Uh, why won't you go with me? Can't you just come with me? I tried to go to Fikai once. Thought my head would burst, the curse's magic was so strong. Nice of you to send me there. I experienced an acute nasal hemorrhage. Oh, right, okay. Probably best you stay here, then. <laughs> At Aratusa, they Wait, an acute nasal hemorrhage? Isn't that just a nosebleed? This was like getting okay, fair enough. With a grain flail. Funny. Thought Isn't that just a fancy it. way of saying this? <laughs> um, should be fit to use, provided rot hasn't eaten it, as it seems to eat everything here. All right, fair enough. Uh, can I go now, please? Oh, you're gonna tell me how the magic lamp works? Okay, fair enough. How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it, or do I? Is there a genie inside? Is Robin Williams inside? Magical. Oh, please. <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. Really? As much. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenobox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. All right. Okay. So like a radio. And I shall tell like a two-way radio. Fantastic. Wow. I kind of love it in these in these games, like these old-fashioned, timey games where it's all kind of like medieval or whatever, where they try and, you know, rationalize or justify the, the, the use of, like, modern-day technology such as, you know, instead of giving you a radar, it's a map. Or instead of giving you, like, some kind of, like, two-way radio, it's a Xenovox. You know? I, lo I love that. It's like modern technology in the olden times. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. You know, they, they, they had all the great ideas in the Witcher universe. All right. I'm off to go kill some raves with magnificent boobs, hopefully, according to Double Hug. <laughs> no, that is all. All right, cool. All right, we have our job. Oh, go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Fire Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And Geralt. Yes? Thank you. You're welcome. I mean, you can thank me later when we bump uglies like you've never bumped uglies before. Alright, you have a new quest item. Prepare it, prepare it to be used by placing it in an appropriate slot in the inventory panel, then selecting it from the quick access menu. To use the item, press or hold RB. Right, uh, I'm going to do none of that. What I am going to do is I'm going to meditate. Uh, excuse me. Right, we're going to meditate for a little bit because we need our potions back. So let us meditate for a day. All right, there you go. Friend zone incoming. No, 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 no. Please, please do do not friend zone me, Kira Metz. I need some kind of love. I mean, to be honest, to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, Geralt really, well, in, in my eyes, Geralt really has his eyes on one woman in particular, and that woman is Triss Merigold. Uh, out of all the women that I've kind of seen in, in this game, and The Witcher 2, and The Witcher 1, Triss Merigold represents the kind of lady that I, I would like to marry one day, someone who's playful, fun, um, and yet, you know, she gets serious when she needs to. She's a feisty lady when she needs to. And so, I mean, I don't really kind of, you know, want to get into something too serious with Kira Metz. But on the same, t you know, at, at the same time, I think to myself, Geralt, he has the urges, ladies and gentlemen. He's out on the road all day long. And sometimes he just wants to get with someone, you know? And and, and so I think Kira Metz is probably his first conquest. If we if we can actually, you know, <laughs> get with her, uh, so to speak. Uh, before we do any of this, it would be incredibly helpful if I could actually fix all my crap. So where is the nearest place for that? Mid-cops. Alright, so we're going to 
we're going to first of all head to mid cops. We can't fast travel yet, but we're going to head to mid cops. We're going to fix our sword, going to fix our armor, and then we're going to head to Fike Island, kill all the raves, get in the Kira Metz's good books, and have some jolly fun times. All right? Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan indeed. I should probably set some kind of marker uh, if I want to head to uh, mid cops. Right. How do I do that? Uh, how do I set a marker? X. Boom. That'll do. That'll do. What does that look like on game? Right, okay. Never set a marker before. We're learning, ladies and gentlemen. We're learning. Learning is half the battle. I think. Isn't that how the saying goes? No idea. Alright, so we're going to go fix our sword and everything should be fantastic. And our armor as well. God, why so gloomy? Wait, why is it storming and yet the sun is out and... Oh, God, weather. It's so confusing. You can't say that about Kira? That's so mean. I mean, she has a lovely personality. That's the main thing, right, Kitty? That is the main thing. You know, she's got a, a wonderful personality, and that that's really what's attractive. You know, the the personality is what's attractive, ladies and gentlemen. It's not about, you know, whether she's got the huge jugs or not, or whatever. It's it's about the personality, and Kira's got a world-class one of those. Armor! Fix my crap! You ain't safe, uh, less you no money, please. Gabrielle, the auto -crank one Gabrielle yeah, you've told me this already, mate. You've, to you've told me this already. The last word. Right, fair enough. Show me what you got. Let me have a look at your stock. Show me what you got. Uh, right, so I need you to repair my stuff. No, don't dismantle anything. No, 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 no. Stop teaching me things, game. Wait, do I only... Oh, I've only got three monies. Oh, are you serious? I've only got three monies. Ah! Fine, I'm going to have to sell him some junk. Ah, that's so bad. Why do I only have three monies? Oh, my God. Okay, fine, 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 fine. I'll sell you some junk. All right. Can I find a hundred and sixteens worth of monies? Uh, that sentence probably made no sense, but that's fine. That's fine. We're not here for sense. We are here to sell junk so we can repair our sword. Our sword. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Like, how much is all this? Five. Thirty-one. Four. No, I can't repair all. Hmm. How much is it just to repair my sword, then? Let's see. Uh, so... If, oh, wait, no, I have other swords, don't I? Oh, I have other swords as well. Oh, I have other swords. Oh, that is fantastic. All right, okay, so this sword... Well, I think these two swords are slightly weaker. However... Not enough coin? Oh, yeah, okay. All right, we've got two other swords. They are slightly weaker... But it doesn't matter. They're slightly weaker. It's not how powerful they are. It's how you use them. So if we just equip those two swords, we'll be fine. We'll have enough power for everything. So that would be fantastic. You're calling me an idiot, Kitty? you call me an idiot? How dare you? How very dare you? All right, let's equip these swords, shall we? So I, I think... I think I can, right? Uh, right, Dorian's sword... Okay, and... Right, am I getting confused here? Hopefully I'm not getting confused here. <laughs> uh, right, 43.53... Right, 43.53... 40... Do, do, do. Right, okay, so that's the most powerful sword I've got there. But I don't have a spare steel sword. That's the issue, I think. Yeah, I don't have a spare steel sword. I mean, I've got armor of repair kits. Oh, it's so bad that I can't repair my... Wait, I had a torch the entire time? Oh, now I feel embarrassed. God damn it. Yeah, I could sell the rusty sword, actually. Hmm. God damn it, I need to repair my steel sword, though. I am not going onto an island filled with raves with just a, you know, a steel sword to play with. I need to have a complete uh, silver sword, or else I'm not going to be able to do anything. I'm not going to be able to do any damage whatsoever. So, let's, we, we've got to try and sell it at the very least. We've got to try and sell up to it. Let me have a look at your stock. 
Torch for the entire time. Spent one to two hours in a dark cave. Shut up, Kenny. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, let's sell this rusty sword for one. Boom. Done. Right, what else do we have? We've got rune stones, which we've not really found much use for yet. We now have a grand total of seven gold. How much is it to repair just the silver sword? That's what we need to know. Uh, to repair the silver sword, it is... Uh, oh, 135? Is that what you're saying? No, 61. Right, okay, saying 61. So, 61. We need to um, find 61 from somewhere. If we can find 61 gold, you'll be fine. You get better ones later on, just sell all but two. Uh, yeah, I suppose I could. Uh, to be honest, I only really have two now, don't I? Uh, I just need money. I just need money, guys. Why do I have so many pants? I don't need all these trousers. I really don't. Okay, let's get rid of those. Um, 13. Uh, these seem pretty cool. We'll get rid of those as well. Uh, what else can we do here? We just need 61. We'll get to 61. It'll be fine. We'll get to 61. We'll sell some components. Uh, oh, God. I don't really want to get rid of any dark iron ore, though. Oh, this game is so hard. Monster Tongue. He's the cr Oh, God. Everything's so important. Or seems so important anyway. You know what? Screw it. Oh, God. All right. We can sell one of those. Yeah, we'll sell one of those. All right, good. Here we go. This is where we make our money. This is where we make our money, boys. All right, we'll just sell one of these. We'll sell one of everything. Here we go. All right, in fact, no, that's not worth it. All right, good. Now we can repair the sword. Upstart DJ, you have to jewel wield so you can chop off both boobs in one clean sweep. Keep them as souvenirs for when that lady doesn't want to bang you. <laughs> what? Are you, are you saying that she won't want to... You know, bump uglies with me? Why do I keep saying that? That's such a childish way of putting it. God damn it. Um, dude, you can't say that. I'm charming enough. She's going to love me. She's going to love me, man. You know, you're probably right. That is actually probably a really good idea. Um, we'll repair that sword as well. All right. You know what? It doesn't matter. As long as I can just flip and kill some raves, it will be so fine. Long. Take off Geralt's clothes. I want to see his perfect... Oh my god, are you serious? Alright, okay. This is for the fans, ladies and gentlemen. This is for the fans. Alright, okay. Alright, here we go. Right, we're going to take some clothes off. Let's take some clothes off. How do we do it? Um, Alright. Okay. K Kitty, this is, this is just for you, Kitty. This is just for you. Alright. Oh, there you go. That's the best you get in Kitty. <laughs> That's the best you get in Kitty. That is the best you're getting. Alright? Kitty, I aim to please. Please remember that I did this for you. This is the best you're getting. Oh my lord. Garrett, please put some clothes on. Put some clothes on, you crazy guy. Alright, let's put some clothes on. Uh, right, inventory. <laughs> you should have talked to her like that. Yeah, once we complete the quest... We'll strip down, and we'll see if that kind of sways us, shall we? Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Um, okay. All right. Kermaran armor. We'll put some lovely boots on. We'll stick some lovely pants on. Are these even lovelier pants? No idea. Eh, they look nice, I guess. And we'll put some gloves on as well. All right. Cool. Enough dilly-dallying. Jesus Christ, you guys. All right. Okay. So we need to use Kira's boat to reach Fike Island. So let us go do that. Roach. I'm on a boat again. I am very amused. Very good, Key. Very good. I aim to please. I aim to please, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm here for. All right. Let us ride. Let us ride. Let us knock over random women with our horse. Yep. That's a cool thing to do. Uh, right, Kira's boat. Kira's boat, where is it? Oh god, it's a horrible day for going boating, believe me. Oh god, drowners everywhere. Oh god, drowners everywhere. Roach, avoid. Avoid. Avoid now. Oh wait, Kira's boat's over here. I went to the wrong one. I went to the wrong one. I'm, I'm a big dum-dum. Uh, horse, please. Please. Kira's boat's over here. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. 
All right, get to Kira's boat and we'll be fine. We'll set sail and it'll be great. We'll get one quest done, believe me. We've killed a boss, but I'd like to do an entire quest as well if we can. All right, Kira's boat. We found it. Right next to the hanging man. Brilliant. We shall name him Steve. Remember Steve the hanging man, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go. Let us do that. And away we go. See, look, I get to uh, sail on a boat again. Oh, fantastic. Boring? What? How dare you? How dare you? I mean, what exactly is boring to you, Kitty? What exactly is boring? He has two maps to buy that show some Witcher gear quests. Oh, what, the armor guy? Right, okay. I mean, I have, like, no money right now, so all of these little uh, tips, or big tips, as I like to say, they're, they're going to help. So if you guys do have any kind of you know helpful tip that will help me in the game, then feel free to let rip, as long as they're not spoilers. Don't give me spoilers. Don't tell me that Snape killed Dumbledore or Dumbledore killed Snape or whatever. I don't want any of that. But if there's like a way to, you know, go faster in a boat. Oh god. Where are you? Kira? Splendid. I shall contact you again soon. Wait. Oh my this god. Box, can I contact you with it or is it one way? One way only, I'm afraid. Right? Oh what? god. My feminine intuition. Wonderful. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. We now have Kira Metz in our ear. There you go. She's kind of like Navi. She's our little fairy friend who will be like, Hey, listen! You've got to kill that wraith! Or the whole world's going to explode! Just constantly in my ear. She's, she's probably going to be quite annoying. To be honest, once I've uh, done the deed with her, I I'm probably going to be done with her forever because um, she'll probably... Um, she'll probably get really clingy or needy or whatever. She seems like the sort, you know, she puts on this kind of independent woman bravado for, you know, on as soon as we kind of meet and then suddenly she comes up becomes all clingy and needs me for whatever reason. Oh god. Uh rot fiends. It's rot fiends, ladies and gentlemen. Rot fiends. These guys like to explode as they die. Oh god. Okay. No. Kira, now is not the time. In fact, Quen. Give me Quen. Oh, God. Okay. Now is not the time. I need to remember that as soon as you get these guys to low health, they flipping explode. Thankfully, they can explode on each other. And you can kind of create a chain reaction. That is something else I need to worry about. <laughs> Please. Please. Die already. Okay, okay, nice and calm, nice and calm. You've actually got people in stream that are good at video games. That's referring to you, Double Hook. You're very good at video games. So I need to kind of prove myself to you. There you go, beautiful. You could just swim. I could, I could just swim. But boats are cool, so I'm not gonna do that. Cause you know, boats are amazing. Whenever you get the opportunity to ride a boat, you should always do it. Even if it's with a weird stranger with a hook for a hand. Oh God. More rot fiends. Okay. Quine it up. Let's see what we got here. Are they rot fiends? No, they're drowners. Okay. I can kill drowners. Drowners are fine. Ugh! Come here! Boom! Alright. Oh god, there's so many enemies around. Ugh! Oh, thankfully, I, c I can handle drowners just about. Famous last words. Can you please stop dodging? I don't know why you think dodging is a good idea, drowner. I mean, I'm gonna kill you anyway. Oh, thanks. You're welcome, Double Hook. Double Hook, you know you're the world's greatest McCree. Of course you're great at video games. Believe the hype. Believe the hype, Double Hook. You're amazing. Uh, right. What else do we have here? There's an enemy over there, but we'll leave it for now. We shall leave it for now. Now, I could call my horse, even though I'm on an island, but that would just totally break my emotion. What the hell are they? What are they? What what are they? I, uh, <laughs> All right, ghouls. Okay, we've faced ghouls before. Ghouls are fine, I think. Just avoid the initial charge. Oh god. Annoy, uh, avoid the initial charge, and just swing like a wild, a wild man. Oh, they do heal as well. That's cool. I love it when they heal. Oh god, chopped his head off. Lovely. All right, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh god. Well, that wasn't a very good dodge at all, was it, Geralt? Oh god. 
I'm getting better. I'm getting better, ladies and gentlemen. I'm getting better. All right, let's keep going. Oh, dear. There you go. See, I'm good at this game now, hopefully. Hopefully you guys start to believe that I'm actually good at this game. If we can just avoid those monsters, that would be fantastic. Alright, okay, what do we have here? Oh god, okay, okay, more ghouls. Level 9 ghouls. That's, 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 that's slightly different. Oh god, level 9 ghouls are slightly more powerful than the ones that I've just taken on. Oh god. There's only one level 9, okay, that's, that's good to know. There's only one level 9 ghoul here. Give me Quen, give me a bit of healing. Okay, patience. Patience, DJ. Patience. Oh god, there's a fourth one. There's a fifth one. Okay, okay, we're out of here. We're out of here. We're out of here. Are we out of here? No, there's no point. There's no point being out of here. We'll probably just run into more enemies and it'll just make it so much worse for ourselves. When? Oh god. Furiously ba bashing buttons here. Not gonna lie, furiously bashing buttons. There's no rhyme or reason to this. I'm just bashing buttons and hoping for the best. Oh, God. Can you please just die already? Be a ghoul nation. Please, drop dead. I, no one loves you. No one loves you at all. Apart from Kitty, because Kitty wants me to die for some strange reason. Right, there you go. There you go. Right, leave the level 9. Oh, no, they're both level 9. Okay. Oh, God. I love how I keep quenning as soon as I get hit. Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. Bye. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Are we doing fine? We're not doing fine. We're not doing fine at all. Oh, God. Heal. Ah, there you go. Right, please, just kill it. Just kill it. Just kill it. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay, cool. Kitty, I know when you call me a sissy, you, you say it with love. I know that you say it with love, my dear. <laughs> my dear kitty. And I know you're a dude, I call everyone dear. It's just a weird kind of thing that I have, so it's fine. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. Oh, a tower. Okay, lovely. Towers aren't scary. Tower full of mice. Mice aren't scary either. Oh, wait. Is it gonna actually gonna be... Um, wait, I am using my silver sword, right? Yeah, I am using my silver sword, right? Yeah, I was using my silver sword. Um, yes. As we already know, Kiramets is afraid of mice, so I wonder if actually she's scared of this place, not because of all the ghouls and all the magic, but because there's mice in there. That would be hilarious. Right, can I just sneak... Wait, I don't even know what that is. Oh, what is that? Looks like some kind of hag raven. Oh, God, what are you? Water hag. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, God. Hey, sexy. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, go oh, God. All right, don't go into the water, Geralt. Don't go into the water. Oh, God, it froze mode. It froze mode. Oh, God. Ah, right in the ankle. Ah. Oh, God, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Don't you growl at me. Don't you growl at me. Oh, God, you could just learn to love me, Waterhag. Learn to love me. Oh, God. Oh, God, okay, okay, okay. Oh, God, we're dying. We're dying so hard right now. <sighs> All right, well, that's a new enemy. If you mod me, then I'll show my love. Uh, no, I'm not modding anyone. If there's anyone in here that would ever get mod chip, it would be Double Hug. And even then, he's not always here for my stream, so <laughs> there's absolutely no point. So, nope, no mods for anybody. I'm the ultimate mod. And uh, in my career as a mod, I've never banned anyone. So there you go. <laughs> you can get away with murder in my chat room, believe me. But please, don't actually murder anyone. Alright, what do we have in here? I feel like I should save. That should be a... Yeah, we'll save. We'll save. We'll be a sissy and we'll save. Was I using steel? Re really? Oh, okay. Fair enough. I wow, okay. Well, I beat them with the steel sword at the very least. That's cool. Uh, meditate? Can we meditate here? That would be a really good idea. Yeah, let's meditate for a bit. There you go. All right, cool, 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 cool. Right, so we got full potions and we got full health again. All right, let's go. Yeah, there you go, there you go. This is the reason why she was scared. This was the reason why Kira Metz was scared. Oh, Melimore is hosting me, Melimore. 
Oh, Melimore, please tell me you're in chat. I've not seen you for absolutely ages. Uh, Melimore. I remember Melimore from, uh, Fallout. Yes, you helped me with the Covenant quest. So yes, there you go. Thank you. Thank you for the host, my dear Melimore. Alright, what do we have in here? Are the rats actually eating me? No? Okay, cool. Okay. Right, so we need to explore the tower a little bit. This place is full of rats. As many dead as alive. I think they're feeding on... There you go, Melimore. Oh man, I love seeing the uh, love seeing the old faces from from ages ago. Yeah, you helped me with Covenant in Fallout 4. You were the one that pointed out that Deezer was the robot guy when I when I totally forgot. Yeah, welcome, welcome to the stream. How you doing, Melly? Hopefully you're doing really really well. All right, let's see what we've got in here. Blood. Many must have died here. I can imagine. I can imagine. Yes, many must have died here. We need to use the lamp. I feel like we should use the lamp. How do we use the lamp? Yay, more friends. There you go. See, I I pride myself on trying to remember when I met my followers. So, I'm quite happy that I got that one right. <laughs> I mean, see, the thing is, as far as I know, Melimore has actually only been to one of my streams. So, And it was a while ago. So, the fact that I remember this, I've, like, I have no idea. The fact that I remember that uh, she was from uh, uh, Fallout, I, I have no idea. Although, then again, I did stream Fallout for a while, so it's a pretty safe guess. But, um, yeah, welcome to the stream anyway. I hope you're well, Melly. I hope you're well. Right, um, <sighs> Magic Lamp. Magic lamp. Do I have it equipped already? I do indeed. How do I use it? Uh, yes, I have it used already. Um, right, does this mean that I can just walk up to areas and click A and go should appear? Or do I actually need to press a button and use it? I'm well, been busy with life and I started streaming more as well. Oh, good to know. I should start, I, sh I should take a look at your streams. I like looking at my followers' streams, believe me. I, I, I kind of lurk around my followers' streams all the time, so I'll see if I can uh, take a look. Well, I'm a classic stream lurker, so I've been in a few. Have you? Right. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's okay. That's all right, then. Don't worry about it. I don't worry about I don't mind having lurkers. I do always prefer it when I get to talk to cool people, but um, yeah, if uh, you want to lurk, that's fine. Okay, that's a bit weird. I'm pretty sure chandeliers aren't supposed to swing by themselves. Rats, are you doing this? Rats, do you have some kind of magical powers that are causing this to happen? I'm going to imagine not. Uh, right. No, I, I didn't want to do that. How do... Oh, here we go. Magic lamp. All right, magic lamp. Illuminate. All right, let's look for, let's look for some ghosts. Oh, hello. Hello, friend. How you doing? Well, that was a ghost. I don't know where it's gone. Ah, oh, spooky. It's like, it's like Luigi's Mansion, but without a hoover or a vacuum, as you people call them. Wow, oh, I need to find some ghosts. I'm excited for ghost hunters. Uh, yeah, apologies. Oh wait, hold on. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. Let them out, maybe. Like to die of hunger if we leave him there. I'd sooner burn the vermin. Releasing him's not like to bring no good. True that. Imagine the harm they'd do if they swam back to the village. Yeah, exactly. Swam? Rats. Oh yeah, saying that. I don't know if do rats that? actually do well in the water, do they? <laughs> Clever little bastards. Clever in you. Hmm. They seem sluggish to you. Got the mange, maybe? Oh, and that stench! Oh, lovely. Double hug. Would you like some rats? I know. Um, I know you were quite interested in uh, adopting some rats that Yang found. Um, would you like? Would you like to take on a tower full of rats if you're still here? Plenty of rats for you to, um, you know, take care of here, man. All for you. And uh, yeah, Kitty, I. I don't know why, but my link, well, li any link that gets posted gets instantly deleted. I don't know if I need to change the setting for that or whatever, but that's 
been like that since day one, and I apologize. If it's a link that you really need me to see, you can whisper it to me, um, and I'll take a look. It's not that I don't accept like bad links or anything, it's not like I've put in any kind of measures, it's just that I've not changed the original setting to allow for links, if that makes sense. More like a peasant now, sloshing around in his own blood and shy. Be nothing no. I kind of cancelled that then. Oh, Where's did I? Noble? Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pump. Oh, Matsuvo. I need to talk More to you, like Matsuvo. Now, sloshing around in his own blood and shy. Be nothing noble about him. Too quick a death they gave him. Should have been made to suffer. He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for him. And the daughter. To the top. <sighs> Okay. Strange. Strange little ghost conversations there. Uh, Matsuvo, welcome to the stream. Hope you're well. Hope your anniversary little dinner thing yesterday went well. Um, Matsuvo, I will be starting Nuka World on Wednesday, okay? Um, I'll be doing Nuka World every Wednesday and Thursday. I don't know if you caught that yesterday, but we'll start Nuka World on Wednesday. We'll continue it on to Thursday. And then every week from then on in, it will be Monday, Tuesday, Witcher, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Fallout 4, Nuka World. So just so you know. Um, so yeah, make sure you're here tomorrow to see the start of Nuka World. Apparently, double hugs in the shower. Brilliant. I think you are the first viewer that I've ever had who was watching me from the shower. Not quite sure how you're doing that. Perhaps you have one of those fancy iPhones that is water resistant, but <laughs> still, good to know, man. Good to know. Um, okay, what's going on in here? That simpleton turned your head. But one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants, they're through the door in the tower. Right, okay. So, I mean, this tower obviously belonged to uh, Veserad, and I guess it's just been raided somehow? Like, completely ransacked, and all the people that lived here, like, died? I mean, I can't imagine it's been ransacked by rats. I think that would be a little crazy, unless it's like Dishonored Rats. I don't know if you played Dishonored, but the rats in that game are pretty nutty. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I, I guess this place is just being kind of ramsacked by uh, by raiders or something. Is this the ghost that's trying to help me here? Is this the helpful ghost? No? Okay. We've not found Casper yet. Casper, he would help me. Casper, are you here? No? Okay. Uh, anyone in here? No. Uh, and there's plenty of loot here. Oh, someone was here. Someone was here. Talk to me. Gold, piles of it. I oh, won't do the dead any good now, will it? Strange is still here. The noble died a time ago. Who's that? Show yourself. Wait, do you know I'm here? Who? Who are you? Does this ghost know I'm here? Oh God. Okay, well, something ate that ghost. That's um, that's pretty fantastic. And uh, yeah, and there's the bo that's where the body lies. Wow. Okay, this is kind of eerie, ladies and gentlemen. This is kind of eerie. Any ghosts to be had in here? Uh, no, no bodies. Oh, lots of loot though. Iron ingot. Oh my god. Hunting gauntlet. A Velen longsword diagram. Ah. Oh. Okay. Cool. Right. Let's keep going. Yeah, the rats in Dishonored are like piranhas. I love it. I absolutely love it. I want to play Dishonored too. I mean, it took me a while to actually appreciate Dishonored. I, I kind of completed it way too quickly, but once I kind of played it for a second time... Oh my god. I had so much fun with it. What's this kind of orange stripe here? Hmm, interesting. Can we examine that? Is that something we can examine? Uh, with the sensors. 